striking that it was a health service. Uh, and that might have the doctor in his, in his life to advise him on a course uh, to manage him. It's, it's uh, I mean, I didn't last them there. <laughs> so clearly, they've, uh, you know, there, there's been traffic and parking associated with it as a commercial activity. And I think the, the, the residents in that petition suggests that the upper floors could be used as a commercial activity, which strikes me again, there would be people, uh, managers, office staff, which would probably actually generate more cars than, uh, than the cars that we talk about in addition uh, for the residential. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to disappoint it, but I'm, I'm not convinced really that we have that. Not, not, not on the grounds of poor, I think we, much as I like to sing the praises of the private structures, I think we look back on that. But I, I just don't think that there's sufficient here. I apologize for being able to go on the same business, but I have to move the uh, over on the side and uh, feature at home. And it struck me that actually the waiting restrictions there seem to go an awful long way up uh, the road and seem to remove, maybe remove uh, what could potentially be uh, a car on the spaces uh, during the day and during the evening as well as the engineers have considered reviewing some of the restrictions. What is obviously um, some pressure from the party of the area, but I, I don't see grounds for refusal. Um, could I just ask you to respond to the, the question from Patrick Bell? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for your chair. Um, well, the, the quick response is no, we've you know, not more considered removing any restrictions there. Um, I am actually meeting at, at some point with the Ward Council to have a look at the restrictions in general. We could certainly take a look down there to see if there's anything we could do in those sorts of terms. But I don't feel that, um, that there's sufficient grounds to link that to this application. Living very close um, to the area myself, I can appreciate the Lord Council's comments in relation to parking. It can be an issue. Um, also, uh, as David said, I'm not sure that we've got some good grounds really for review at all. Uh, there's two more members want to speak, so I've got time. Uh, thank you, Chair. I just wanted to draw the committee's attention to the lack of any cycle storage, bicycle storage facilities within the application, which I feel is, is a big deficit in this. We shouldn't really be getting applications for plants, especially when the concerns about vehicle parking are being raised. There are no storage facilities whatsoever for bicycles. It's, it's the crucial factor for people who want to encourage them not to be owning cars, clogging up the, the, the highway, etc. That we give them proper facilities to store bicycles. Because if they don't have that, they won't be able to own a bicycle and use a bicycle. And we really should be, um, uh, I would just point out the, bicycle, the Merseyside Cycle Campaign did request a condition around bicycle storage to be uh, applied to this, and that's, that's not been um, added. Uh, thank you for your comments. Um, I do uh, know from the officer that. Um, was taken into consideration, but I'll allow them to speak. Uh, thank you to you, Chair. Well, we, as Councillor Cleary uh, points out, we did receive a representation from the Merseyside Cycling Campaign uh, asking that the standard condition for cycle parking uh, be attached to any approval. Um, we did consider that, we did consider the provision of cycle parking, but in this instance, there's nowhere for cycle parking to go. Access is directly onto the pavement, um, so there's nothing around the site. There's no internal courtyard or garden area that could be used to provide um, cycle uh, cycle parking. So to have to so to have um, put that condition on, um, it could never be enforced because they could never provide cycle parking within within the site. So that's why the, uh, the cycle parking condition was added in this instance.
exciting events included in 1996, the Carlton and the Road Arctic. Do you have a presentation, please, Matthew? Uh, thank you, Julia Chair. Commission is for the change in the use and conversion of the Carlton Public House into 14 residential apartments. The site is located within the primary residential area. Uh, although there are some non-conforming, non-residential uses, including the builders' yard and metalworks located nearby. The primary land use, however, is residential. There is a mix of housing stock, including terraced and semi-detached dwellings, and uh, additional flatter development. The National Planning Policy Framework and Policy HS13 of the UDP supports the conversion and existence uh, and exist. Mm, I'll start again supports the conversion of existing and redundant buildings. Acceptable outlook from all the proposed units is achieved, and proposed layout for each unit provides a good standard of accommodation. A communal garden area is provided at the rear to give amenity space to future residents. Again, there are no dedicated parking spaces provided within the scheme. Uh, however, the site is, close, is located close to amenities with good public transport links, and within walking distance of the traditional suburban centre. Um, again, whilst the development will be likely to result in a small increase in demand for on street parking, it is considered that there is sufficient capacity within the immediacy, immediate vicinity of the site to accommodate this demand. The proposals include 20% affordable housing provision, which would be secured through a Section 106 legal agreement. The proposals are recommended for approval subject to, uh, to the 106 agreement. Uh, there's no petition for this application. Okay, if that's what you've got to comment. Okay, do you have any? Sorry, just very quickly, just to ask a related question. If I remember right, we're going to have a look at the whole situation with regard to parking associated with development. Has that been progressed any further? It can't affect this application, I'm aware of that. But if you don't know where we've gone with it. But it was something I think we raised at the evening discussion, didn't we, a short time ago? We're increasingly confronted by situations like this where there's clear objections from the people on that department. So I do think we need to follow it. It's not related to this application specifically, but it's an interesting issue, but it is something that we need to have a meeting with us. I would agree with you that it does need to go ahead by asking. The office is actually in the new room, so we can't respond to the concerns. It's like someone's present. So I don't know if you'd be happy to have a written tomorrow. Sorry. Just, just briefly, uh, just again to raise the issue of cycle storage. Uh, it's been built at this time under condition uh, number four, which I very much welcome, because the original application was completely lacking in terms of uh, adequate cycle storage. So I would just ask the officers that that be uh, you know, rigorously enforced. Please. But uh, all of the conditions are important. Thank you. Side of the road. 
Therefore, townhouses would be in keeping with the predominant land use in this location. Each house is a two-bedroomed and two-storey uh, uh, property with private rear garden areas. Again, the proposals do not provide for off-street parking. Other properties in the locality also have no off-street parking, particularly the older Edwardian Terrace properties further upstream Hay Road. The proposed development um, is located close to amenities and good public transport links on Telegraph Road and King Street. If allowed, the proposal would be likely to lead to an increase in demand for on-street parking. However, given the small number of units proposed, it's considered that there is sufficient capacity within the immediate facility to accommodate the additional demand. Therefore, the proposed development would not materially harm the living conditions of existing residents, with particular reference to the availability of on-street parking. The scale, design and siting of the new dwellings are considered to relate well to surrounding land uses, and the redevelopment of this site would result in improving the street scene in this location. The proposals are recommended for approval. Uh, there is a qualified petition of objection. Uh, not reported it is uh, we would have, we'd like to attach an additional condition um, which would require uh, the reinstatement of obsolete vehicle crossing to standard footwear levels uh, within three months of occupation.